Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Uh, the weigh-ins just complete. These guys didn't weigh in today. The fight is officially off between Dave Allen and uh, Christopher Lovejoy. I'll let you speak first. Why isn't this fight happening? It's not happening because it was a small mistake, some paperwork that we didn't finish up before we got here, which I thought it was genuinely done. I thought it was I was okay to come. I got the okay to come and everything was cool. So. Aside from that, I really want to thank David Allen for accepting my challenge. Because if he didn't accept my challenge, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be talking. And people wouldn't mention my name. And I want to thank Eddie Hearn for even allowing this to even happen. So I'm genuinely, genuinely gracious and grateful for him to even accept my challenge. And, you know, I want to throw in that, you know, I kept my composure this whole time. These last 48 hours, I kept my composure, knowing that it could be iffy, iffy. And so I kept talking smash. I kept, you know motivating the people for this fight. You know, I don't want nobody to think that I'm just laying down because if the fight did happen, which it was a possibility could happen, I want to be in my right state of mind. So anything I said about him, you know, I take it back. You know, I might have said that he's not built, where I'm, built how I'm built or, you know, from the same cloth that I'm cut. It's not like that. I'm gonna tell you a story. Before you even came over here, this man asked me to fight. Like, like, nah, like, nah, fuck all the cameras. He asked me, he asked me to fight. Yeah, I said, let's go somewhere quiet. We'll yeah, quiet, just me and him. And I'm like, nah, bro, I, I don't want, I don't want that. So you know, you know where I'm from. You know that's like a, a call out, like a mark out. Like he kind of marked me out. You know what I'm saying? Because and I, like, and I said to him, I said, and he said, I'm, I'm looking at, him, I'm like, he's serious. I'm like, nah, bro, I don't want this. I'm, I'm here to box. I'm a businessman. You know what I'm saying? He really was trying to like, what, nah, fuck uh, Why do you want to do that? Why? What reason? <laughs> for what reason? And you're not getting paid for no, it. No, I'll what, tell you what, what the reason is. The fight's not happened yet. I'm a little bit uh, annoyed. Uh, I've been training for seven months and I'm in the best shape I've ever been in. I think a lot of people have said it looks really well out. Train really hard. A lot of money goes into a camp, you know, a lot of my own money. Sponsors who become friends, they, they put a lot into it. Um, and I'm not, I don't know if it's Christopher's fault, but I feel like um, some, some blame must go to him. And I see him on social media saying, ah, all this and that. Well, you can talk about it if you want, but I'll, I'll, I'll come and smash your fucking head in in the fucking in the in the in the, in the hotel toilets if you want, which is what I said to you. That's exactly what he said. Well, I said it off the camera because what I'm saying is, no one needs to know about that. But I just said to me, if, if you want to fucking carry on talking shit, you're here for another 24 hours. We'll just fucking have it out. Because I told him, I'm not from LA, but I'll fucking I'll fucking scratch you. That's what yeah. I said to you. Though, yeah. well, that's like, that, well, that's, obviously, and that's just only a joke. If I was in that position, I probably would have said the same thing, you know. I've been through things before, and at a certain part of my life, I would have said what he said, and I probably would have just done something without thinking. So, I definitely respect that, and I know when a man's serious. So, I had to bow down, like, no, it's not about that. I'm a professional boxer. I want to fight you in the ring. So, I have nothing to prove to him on that. Even though his emotion took over him, and he's mad. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not mad at all. Oh. I, just, I just thought my was fucking... We feel disrespected somehow. Yes, I just thought. Yeah, so as a man, he wants to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But this is what I did. You know, this is not for no type of clout. This is not for to get a bigger fight. You know, I'm willing to wait, go take care of my paperwork, and I'm gonna give him a shot how he gave me a shot. And I'm willing to wait three, four, five, six months to fight him. You know, nobody else. I'm not. But I mean, I understand what you're saying, Chris. But do you not think five, six months your careers will probably be in a different direction, and this fight doesn't look like it will happen if it weren't going to happen this this weekend? Is that well, fair, Dave? I just think, you know what, this was Chris's massive opportunity. Um, and, it, and it's gone. Um, so, you know, I, I'm going to box for the end of the year now. Uh, I'm not going to go into why I've not boxed anyone else the weekend, because uh, in the end, Eddie's been great and sorted sort things out for me. If you'd have done this interview last night, it would have been a very different interview. I didn't want to do it last night. I said to you it wasn't the right thing to do. What? Because you didn't now. No, but wouldn't I wasn't going to do it in that when you were in that state of mind. You weren't in a good place. No, you know what? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that kind of fella. But uh, I was. I was upset last night. But now you know what? Think we planned things out, and Chris is the one who, who's in. Who's in a bit of limbo. Um, 
So my, my sympathy is for Chris and, and, his, and his man over there and that, but I hope he gets all sorted out. I don't think he'll, he's not going to box me again. I wouldn't box him again. Yeah, but that's what I just said to you. It's a shit show from fucking start to end. Chris, what, what would you say to those people that have said that you didn't have any intention of coming here to fight, really? I'm, gonna say I'm that. sure you would have seen that online, people saying that. Yeah, um, I'm an open book. I mean, I'm here to answer any questions. I really came to fight, you know. I got the clearance from my manager, Sean, who's good friends with Don King, who got all that stuff situated. And we talked before I signed a contract and came back even out here. And they said it was clear, good to go. They said, just don't lose. I said, I'm on my way. Everything was cool. I wouldn't even came. I had to talk to him before I left. I said in my interview, the matchroom interview, I spoke to Don King before I came out here. So why he decided to just put a plug on this whole thing, who knows? But I definitely came to fight. I definitely came to win the fight. Why did it take so long? It seemed like it took kind of two days solid for it to be confirmed as the fight wasn't happening. What was going on? What was kind of being spoken about between maybe Don King and Eddie? Yeah, to totally different thing. The, the two days for me, totally different thing to him. He knows what's going off with Don. I'm just sat there. So his side would be different to mine. Mine's a case of you could fight someone else. You can fight A, B and C. You can find my R plus four on Facebook. Um, and I said, I said, no. But it's a bit different. It's a bit backwards and forwards with his... With his uh, uh, team I think it took so long based on Matchroom and Eddie Hearn was really wanting to see this man fight. It wasn't too much about me. It was more about the, I'm already here, I'm already in the bubble, and I'm already cleared to fight. And it was much more of just getting this fight going. So they were trying to negotiate with Don King to whatever they need to do. He even asked me, what does he want? Let's just get it done. We'll deal with the rest later. Because he doesn't want anything to happen without the okay from Don King. So it was just what it was. I don't think it came to an agreement. I think Eddie just opened his hand and tried to give him whatever he wanted and it wasn't enough so that's where we at okay so that is pretty much what it is um you will fight before the end before of the year yeah um i fight before the end of the year um it's just it's not great i've had a week off training you know being here and you know the food's not ideal here living out of a microwave in the fridge and the meals here I don't even know how flying it's a shame, but at the same time, I can't, I can't grumble too much. Uh, and I wish, him, I wish him all the best, you know? But if you fucking slag me off on Instagram again, I'll have to fucking fly over and fucking have a go. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? I got you, I got you, I got you. So I if you're going to slate me, do it, do, it after, do it after Sunday morning when you fucked up. <laughs> I got you, bro, I got you. No, I'm not going to do that. I, I respect you. I respect you. Okay, so when you go home, have you got a situation to sort out regarding you being able to fight again? Because you don't want to find yourself in another situation like this. So you've got a, a contract situation to get sorted out. Yeah, I'm already on top of it. It's already in the works. Uh, it'll be done soon. Uh, I got the best people in the business working on it. And that's it. That's all. I just, it just, it's already resolved. It just wasn't resolved fast enough to continue this fight this weekend. So I said I'm on it. It'll be done soon. And I'll be in camp. And we'll figure it out. Hopefully, you know, he wins his next fight and, you know, and uh, this is the fight I want. Okay. Have you got anything else you guys would like to add before we finish the whole Alan Lovejoy saga? I'll shake the man's hand and say all the best. And that's that. That's that, that's that chapter done of, uh, of everything, you know? Yeah. Uh, I just want to say thank you to him. Thank Eddie Hearn. Thank you, Matt Schoen, Thank you. Uh, thank the whole UK. Uh, I'm sorry it didn't happen the way it's planned. It was not my fault. Uh, I got a clearance from my manager, Sean, and Don King before I came. Uh, but I will answer any questions. I have nothing to hide. Uh, no evil intentions. And I really want to make the fight happen. I'm sorry. And I'll see you guys when I get back. Okay. Dave Allen, Chris Lovejoy, thank you very much for talking to Eiffel TV all the way through this week. Uh, unfortunately, your fight isn't happening, but we move on from here. So... Best of luck to both of you. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.